Good afternoon. I'm David Bayada, the CEO here at Bayada Home Healthcare. Today is Friday, April 10th, and this is your CEO daily update in the coronavirus pandemic. This is clearly an unprecedented time, not only in our communities, in our lives, but in our organization. We've been through a lot in our history, a lot of ups and downs, some incredible, incredible successes, and some challenges too. And I thought after a Another tough week of navigating the ups and downs, both in our personal and professional lives. I thought it would be nice to end the week with a moment of reflection on all the incredible things we've accomplished in our historical journey here at Bayada to give us continued hope, optimism, and a reminder that the future is bright. Bayada was not our first agency but it will be our last because you stand out and you are phenomenal. Not just the nurses that are in our home, not just the nurses that come in that are trained to the highest degree. You know, when I was in nursing school, didn't really hear much about home care. The best thing is just to tell people. We wanted to bring you the story of a Bayada nurse able to get to her patient despite the deep, deep snow. Mark Bayada started Bayada Nurses in 1975 with less than $16,000 and a single office in Philadelphia. I was just a young man. I was 27 years old. I wanted to have my own business, create something, do some good in the world, and, and be successful. Mark Bayada started the company, and what he started us with was a, an example of doing the right thing and providing the best service putting our clients first, and that's kind of contagious. We wanted to provide a positive environment, we want to provide them in, uh, motivation to do better, and we decided to sponsor the event, we've been doing it for five years. The motto of the Bayada Regatta is freedom on the river. I was a nurse, I was a rehabilitation nurse, and he was a little jealous because I was getting more rehabilitation cases for a competing agency because I was good at it, and he didn't have one like me. So he wanted to meet me to see if he could get the rehab business. We just had actions. We didn't necessarily have words or vocabulary to describe what we were doing. Working together to take care of our clients. As we got bigger and the years went by, I realized, I don't know if everybody sees it the same as I do. They don't see if they tune into the clients. And so we started in 2002 with a series of meetings. At that point, I had a sense of the Bayada way because I'd been living it for 27 years. It's a common belief mission and values that we share regularly among each other. Hey everybody, it's great to be back for another key action of the week. Here we are in Asheville, North Carolina with a beautiful Asheville staff. You can find an employer who appreciates and recognizes the work that you do beyond a paycheck, who, as successful as they may be, is still humble and generous. And thank you to Mark Bayada for having a vision and creating a company that allows clients to stay in the comfort of their own home and caters to the needs of employees. Our mission is to help people at home and leave a lasting legacy so that when we're gone, we have others that if someone needs help at home, they have a, a compassionate person will come into their home with excellent care reliably. And I'm really trying to lay the foundation for the future. I won't be here forever, and I want to pass this on to other people who are equally committed to making the Bayada Way come true for a hundred years all around the world.
I've decided on my 70th birthday, August 17, 2017, to move to chairman. David Bayada will succeed me as president. And I'm the CEO of Bayada. Now, is this your first year, right? My first year. I just started in August. Um, really? In the, in, the, in the top job, yeah. Big shoes to wear. That's for sure. Bigger than this 10 gallon hat? <laughs> <laughs> that's true, and that's a big hat. While unprecedented in the industry, our transition to a nonprofit organization, effective January 2019, is a natural step in our journey to ensure that the Beata way, Beata's philosophy and spirit, which guides us in the work we do, will continue for generations to come. I think this is really innovative. There's no other home care company that's, that's even thinking about doing this right now the glimpse of the future and where we're headed and how we're going to be able to utilize technology to really forge strong relationships with our field teams, our office teams, our clients. Bayada allows me to be the nurse that I was taught to be. If you boil it down, what's it all about? This is all about love.